Hello everyone, and welcome back to All Mod 6. We are on the server, and I'm going to try and tackle some mechanism. And in particular, what I'm looking at is um, quadrupling ores, right? So one iron ore goes in, four iron ingots come out. Um, now, there is also what appears to be the option to do that five times using this chemical injection. No, using the chemical dissolution chamber. Um... This one looks a little bit scarier, right? Um, we'll walk through everything, though. I'm, ju I'm just having a little look here. Chemical washer. I'll bookmark it, because it, we could. And then, and then yeah, we're back here. Okay. So, so let's w walk through, I guess, the, the line of um, machines, right? So, it starts off with an enrichment chamber, right? An enrichment chamber, you put one ore in, you get two dust out. Simple, right? Next on the list, I believe, is the purification chamber, right? So this guy, you put one ore in, you get three clumps out, but these clumps need to go into a crusher, and then they need to be put into an enrichment chamber. So you get a few more machines that you need there, but you get three of the ores out, right? Th three of the ingots from the one ore. Um, then we have the chemical injection chamber, right? I, I think... Wait, where, where are we up to? <laughs> I'm already lost. I'm, I'm pretty sure. And this... Let's see if we can find an ore. Yeah, you put one ore in, and you get four shards out. And then you put those into the purification chamber, so the thing that gave us the three stuff before. And that turns it into a clump, then back into the crusher, then back into a, the enrichment chamber. So, essentially, if we had a system, like, like a cleaner system, because our system at the moment is very messy behind here. Um, if I just head over... Well, it's not very messy, but it's not open to expandability, right? It's very, it's just sort of placed down, set up, and left. Uh, but if we had it, you know, in a nice open room, essentially we could just add these extra machines along the system, al along the conveyor belt, right? Um, so, so after that um, chemical injection chamber would be this chemical dissolution chamber, which you put one ore in, say all the modium, and you get 1,000 millibuckets, right? 1,000 millibuckets, then you do something with it, you wash it apparently, right, with some water, um, and, and that's a one-to-one -one ratio, and then 200 millibuckets, so remember we had the 1,000 before, so 200, that's a fifth, right, so five of this is would be would be 1,000, right, I, I hopefully I'm doing my math right, um, so, so that would mean, you know, you would get five of these crystals per the one ore, and then this crystal goes into the chemical injection, then into the purification, the crusher, the enrichment chamber, and then you smelt it. So, that's that's the fifth one, right? But, but this guy obviously needs all these extra steps. We could, we could definitely try to do that. It does sound a little scary to me, because I don't want to spend a year trying, trying to set all this up. Um, but maybe. I, I think the first step, I want to see exactly how much space we have for auto-crafting. Um, here's our other crafter, right? Alright, we have plenty of space. I think I add old recipes, to all of these machines, right? Everything that we need to make them. And I think we pretty much have everything. But I... Yeah, I think we'll be able to do stuff a lot easier then. Now, another thing to keep in mind is each of these machines... I'm pretty sure each of them... Maybe, apparently not this chemical dissolution chamber, but all these other ones... You can upgrade into factories, right? And so all that does is that increases the, um, the amount of items you can put in at once, right? This can do, what, 10, 9... Something like that. So, <laughs> that that's one thing I want to do, right? That That's the big overarching goal of this episode. The other thing is I want to have another quick tackle, and I, I promise I'll try to make it quick, of getting this uh, whole meat syringe thing to work. Um, I, I figured out as well what you can do, right? Is if you have the meat syringe in your hand and you right-click a black hole tank that has meat in it, that works, right? That fills up the meat syringe. So, I'm thinking... Right? What if we just set up an auto clicker that that ha that uses an item to click, which I think exists. I think it's called a user. Um, autonomous right click activation using any item. This is exactly what we want. I should be able to right click the meat syringe on this black hole tank constantly. Have the black hole tank receiving liquid meat, which it apparently is. Um, and that should just work. And, and then like we have the um, external storage on the item user. I I think. I don't know, though. I... Mm, I don't know. Now, I think another problem is our fluid storage is full. That's probably why the... Um, 
Yeah, why the liquid meat doesn't exist? Hmm. I think as well. Yeah, you can set. Hmm. All right, I, I have an idea. I have a few ideas. Th this is going to be a roller coaster of an episode. Let me tell you. Um, I probably shouldn't be doing this meat syringe stuff, but we're going to anyway. I want to make two more. No, not ME drives. Disk drives from um, what do we call it? From refined storage. So we're going to make one of these, and then another one of these, assuming it lets me. I uh, it just oh my god! It just crafted using the um, ender chest. It's fine, but it's a little bit annoying. Um, what I'm going to do is set up, um, how do I want to do this? Like, boom, boom. Two extra drives. Um, and this guy, for instance, will set it to type fluids. Um, and I want to have it to be on a whitelist. Oh, did it just kick me out? That was a bit weird. I want it to be on a whitelist, and I want it to have only, like, specific liquids in it, right? So, like, this guy, for instance, should only hold, I don't know, say, pink slime. So, we'll grab a bucket of this. Um, there should be essence somewhere. There's a lot of pink slime, apparently. We can grab liquid meat here. And then, I guess the essence isn't with us at the moment. It must be all processed. Um, but, but what this should do... <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what I've said and what I'm meant to say, but... If I click this, it should now try to only keep pink slime in these drives. They've obviously already got liquids in them already, but... Any new liquids should only be pink slime. And for this guy, we want to do the same sort of thing. Fluid, I think you change this to whitelist. And then say liquid meat. And this should work. And then all that's left is to get um, more fluid drives. Um, ooh. Fluid storage part. That's what we want. Um, boom. And then search storage. And put some housings there. And boom. That and that. Let's give this a shot. So if I place this in here... It should only get liquid meat. And then what we should see is the liquid meat exported here. <laughs> In theory. Oh, look at that. I think it's working. That makes sense, right? I, I think it's working. And then this guy over here, we won't put a drive in yet, but this is where the um, essence will go once there's essence. But it appears as though we're getting a lot more pink slime than other stuff. Um, and I think we could probably just void the extra stuff. I don't know. We'll have to do some experimenting. Um, but yeah, that should work. Let me... Uh, we probably don't need an extra drive. Let's just chuck it in there for now. Um, yeah, I, I, I think that's fine, right? Why isn't this guy working? Because this guy's meant to fill up as well. <laughs> right? This guy has a... He has a thing on him. Where are we? I'm, I'm already distracted. I, I, I told you my plan and I've gone against it. Yeah, he should be receiving stuff. Let's just break the glass. What's the worst that'll happen? Head down here. Boom. Can we look at you? Pink slime tank. No, I want to look at the... Yeah, pink slime. Hmm. I don't really know if I can do, like, any speed upgrades or anything, but... Eh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. <laughs> okay, let's get started on the mechanism, right? The the rest of this mess. We'll, we'll leave this for a while and let it sort itself out, and, and we'll come back to it later. Alright, so. Mechanism, right? Let's have a look at the first step, right? The first step that we need is a purification chamber. Um, apparently, you use all this stuff. And we already actually have this stuff crafted. Like, we have recipes for this. So, we can just add this recipe. That should be fine. Um, next up is the chemical injector. We have all of these things except for the purification chamber. But we just got that recipe just then. That's what this pattern is. So, that's fine. Click that as well. Um, so, that's the chemical injector, right? I think we'll give it a shot. We'll try and do the whole thing. We'll see how this goes. Um, chemical dissolution chamber. We're going to actually need a few more things for this. So, first off, we'll, we'll do this, right? We'll, we'll do this whole recipe. Then, apparently, we need refined obsidian. And this happens in an osmium compressor. I don't know if we have this, and like, like an osmium compressor, but we'll, we'll give it a shot. Let's actually... Yeah, let's do this again. I, I want to make sure that we have just a little bit of osmium in the bottom. There we go. I want it to use the ingot rather than like a tank or a block of the stuff. So that should work. Um, what else was it? I think it was the actual basic chemical tanks, which is quite a simple recipe actually. So we'll grab that. So that's the chemical dissolution chamber done. But there was also some two other things, right? Or Yeah, two other things. Yeah, the chemical washer and the chemical crystallizer. So um, this is the two stuff that we just grabbed before. So that should be fine. As well as we might need to auto craft a tank. We might as well. Let's let's do it. 
um, chemical washer. So the rest of this stuff will be updated. That's fine. And chemical crystallizer. We have everything auto-crafted except for the fluorite. Um, or fl I, I wouldn't know how to pronounce that. Um, and how do you make this? Or how do you get it? Fluorite dust. So do we have this? I would assume we have this then. Yeah. Oh, we have 14,000 of it. So yeah, I'd, I'd say we do. Let's um, chuck all of this stuff in here. Um, is that meant to go in there? No, this pattern does not go in there. This is for a... This is for an osmium infuser, right? And I don't know if we even have one of those machines. Um, what do we have over here? A metallurgic infuser. Not the right thing. What's this guy? This is the osmium compressor. Okay. This is the guy that we needed. Um, so, what if I pick him up and set him up with a crafter? Where do I want to do this? Do I want to keep it here? I feel like this is a little bit of a messy... Like, a, we obviously want to build this new structure somewhere else. I just don't know where. Probably along this line somewhere. Maybe maybe opposite of this board over here. It's like this direction right here. Maybe. You know, I, I reckon we will. Let me um just... Oh, <laughs> I was going to say let me go and do that off camera, but one click is definitely a lot easier. So, we're going to need network stuff for this, right? Network. Oh, network. Boom. Um, network transmitter. One of you. Nope, we are missing netherite. That is a little bit annoying. Hmm. Um, what's the solution? We have this stuff over here. I might just cable over here then. Yeah. Um, and pick this stuff up. So what's, what's this? A network receiver. Um, how many cables do I have? Let me pick this guy up. And just connect cables to the other thing. Yeah, um, so the issue with the uh, netherite, right, uh, and us not having it, we, we can go mine some, or we can set up a quarry in the nether as well, like, we, we can do that. Um, but at the moment, it, it appears as though only on the servers, the centrifuge recipes that you get, like, uh, you know, the honeycomb stuff from, apparently they're broken, and apparently it's only a server thing. So if you're playing single player, it's not an issue, but if you're playing on a server, the recipes are gone. Um, so, we don't have netherite. Even though we have netherite bees. So, so we've got to wait for that hot fix or something to happen. That little bug fix. Um, but yeah. So that should be connected now. And we have a spare network receiver. So this network receiver is going to go just over here probably. Um, yeah, we'll probably do a floor later. Or should... You know what? I should do the floor now. I, I don't want to... I want to start off with something looking good. So let's get a... Hmm. Do we have an exchanging gadget? No, apparently. We can craft on really easily. We'll... Charge in inventory too? It should. Um, and essentially, what do we have a lot of? Let's grab... Hmm. What do, we, what do we want to build the floor out of? What blocks do we use over there? Just cobble. I think you can make like a... Hmm. Actually, you know what? We have marble. I mean, I'm going to use marble. Let me grab a bunch of this. Um, place one down. Shift right click it to assign that as the selection. And then we can change the size. Right? And we can essentially just make a nice big platform here. Build on. So. Now I might lag a little bit because I'm on a server. So apologies to anyone who happens to be playing at the moment. Oops. <laughs> Someone's name is just a smiley face. Okay. Um, and I guess this is the start of it. Is it going to look weird being this close to the path? Maybe. Maybe I should fix that. <laughs> Maybe. Alright, there we go. But a little bit more of a gap. Um, so this guy will keep charging, apparently very slowly, but it's, you know, it's more than enough, right? Um, and I guess I'll just keep the receiver here, maybe? <laughs> just nice in the middle. Um, he doesn't appear to be set up because I think I need to grab the network card. And I don't know which one it is, but it's one of these. Um, hmm. Yeah. I, I don't know which one. <laughs> Would it be the... I think it would be the one that's furthest away? You know what? Yeah, yeah. Negative 448. I was just going to go on double check the uh, coordinates. Negative 448. There we go. I'm pretty sure that's the right one. If something breaks, well, we know why. In fact, honestly, I should probably be naming these things. Um, it would probably save me a lot of trouble. So, boom. Place this guy in here. 48 blocks now. Nice. Um, mm, should I name them? Probably. But... You, you know how it normally goes. Okay, so... Osmium Compressor is now going to go in here. I think what I'll do is this left side will be auto-crafting for, you know, certain machines that need auto-crafting, like 
say the Osmium compressor. Um, and then the right side will be ore processing. So we'll, we'll try to squeeze in this five times ore processing on the right side. So let's set up um, do, 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 a crafter. Um, we'll just get a normal crafter. Don't want anything too fancy. Um, so we have the pattern on us. We have cables. Everything should be pretty good. So the crafter will place behind. Open him up. Osmium compressor. Perfect. Connect with the cables. Put in the recipe. Then we need to configure this. Let's uh, clear them all. And we would like the backside to be input. Can we do it input and output? Yes. Input and output. Um, what are the other options? Extra. Okay, so we want to do input, output, but there's also extra here. And I think the crafter manages everything. So I don't know how that's going to interact. Um, gases. Hmm. Can't eject energy. Um, we'll see how this goes. I, I, I don't really know what to expect. Let's also get a flux point if we happen to have one. We do. Beautiful. Let's place this guy here. Um, you know what? Let's place him here. And then we'll use like a cable of some sort, which I don't have on me, of course. Um, Niotic. Boom. I'm just thinking in the future when we have more machines, it might look a little bit nicer. So this guy should be powered. Everything should be good. Let's try and ask for some of this refined um, ingots. Let's ask for one and see what happens. So it puts in the refined obsidian dust. It doesn't put in the extra though. Okay. Um, I'm thinking... The alternative is, we can pick this guy up, right, place the cable here, place him here, so the same sort of config should be there, right, um, and we can have the bottom be the extra, right, so the bottom will be the extra, and then, hmm, <laughs> what have I done? Uh, let, let's see, can we also do auto input? Is that a thing? Auto eject we can do, we can't do auto input though. All right, <laughs> it took me a while, but I think I know what I'm meant to do. It, it's essentially what we did here, right? So the crafter into a chest, which goes into the bottom and the side, and then outputs at the top into like an ender chest. So, so that's essentially what we're going to do. We're going to have item pipes here and here, doing pipe wrench and pipe wrench. Uh, you know what? Actually, I've, I've changed my mind completely. Let's let's use mechanism pipes. We, we might as well, right? S since we're doing like a whole mechanism thing here. Let's do at mechanism and make sure we get the right pipes. Transporters. I think they call transporters, right? Logistical transporter. Place this here. Place this here. We are going to need a configurator. The configurator is probably the one thing I don't like about a mechanism um, because I, I just hate that it does everything. <laughs> that might not sound like the right thing, but I just hate like, oh, I, I don't know what everything means. Wrench, rotate, empty. Configure heat, configure energy, configure slurries, infuse types, gases, fluids, items. Yes, perfect. <laughs> we got there in the end. Okay, there we go. Um, now, this guy will be the osmium compressor. And boom, boom, boom. Bottom will be the uh, extra input. The right side will be the normal input. And the... Oh, actually... Yeah, okay, no. Let's do the top be the output. And auto-eject. So then, we just want to attach the power, like so. We want to get an ender chest. We're probably going to have to make a new one because we accidentally broke one of them. Nope, this one should work. Do this. Try and place it on top. There we go. That should be good. This should be good. Everything should work. Um, so now, let's fly back over here to cancel the... Ah, oh, is it already cancelled, the request? Interesting. Um... Ask for refined... Oh, no. Okay. I'm dumb. I broke the crafter and I didn't put the recipe back in. Okay. That makes sense. So, <laughs> we're getting there. We're getting there. Slowly and steadily, we're getting there. So, this should now craft. In theory. <laughs> okay. The refined obsidian's in. The, what I'm expecting it to do is put an osmium ingot in the bottom. And it didn't even put why is it having the output as an osmium ingot? Why did it do that? I, I, I noticed that it did it when I first made the recipe, but I assumed that it knew what it was doing more than I did, but apparently it doesn't. So let's let's get rid of this, if I can figure out how to, and place our own osmium ingot, osmium ingot right there, and change this to be one. 
let's let's give this recipe a change. So inputs are the dust and the ingot, and then the other thing is the other thing, right? The output's just the ingot itself. So boom, refined, craft, start, one. There's already this in here, so let me take that out. But now is it gonna work? Let's see. Yeah, it worked. Liquid osmium put in. Refined obsidian dust at the top. Hopefully it's a one-to-one -one ratio. That would make everything a lot better. It looks like it is. We could probably also get some speed upgrades and make this a lot better on ourselves. Let's ask for eight of these. That's what a stack is for these upgrades. Um, shouldn't take too long. Might take a little bit. <laughs> Alright, we have one. <laughs> you can just shift right click. Okay, so I think, it, yeah, that worked. And it was one-to-one. -one. Okay. Beautiful. Now that we have these refined obsidian things um, auto-crafted, we should be able to now auto-craft all these other things we want, right? So, for example, the chemical dissolution chamber. I'm going to want one of those. The chemical injection chamber. I would like one of those too. Um, a chemical crystallizer. Sure, why not? Um, and there should be a machine washer or something like that, right? Chemical washer. Nice. One of those as well. Um, so now... We'll grab the rest of these upgrades, put them all on. So that guy should be going super fast. I think there's a few more speed upgrades on the way. Yep, here we go. Boom, boom. So this guy, hmm. Upgrades. He's got 8 out of 8 speed. Hmm. Let's go back to the base and see, what's, uh, see what it's up to. I assume it might be still working. It's just doing a bunch of other stuff. Processing 1, Scheduled 1. It's crafting all this stuff, apparently, which is fine. I think it's doing all of those recipes in this one little guy here, in this one metallurgic infuser, which sort of reminds me that maybe we do a full overhaul. Metallurgic. Because this guy's pretty slow, and he has 8 out of 8 speed upgrades in him already. Um, oh, 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 I'm pressing everything. Uh, metallurgic infuser. Yeah, we can make this into a factory. I think I'm going to do that. We're going we're gonna to pause this, because... It'll probably take the same amount of time, but we'll have invested in something new. So let's... I'm just going to cancel all. Everything's cancelled. It's all cancelled. It's all over. Um, I am going to... Take this stuff out and dump that. Just to... What's in here? No, no. Take all this stuff out. Take it all out. Take it all out. I, it's not worth it. We have infinite of everything, pretty much. I just want to speed things up. That's all we're doing here. Okay. We've got this. So, but before I go ahead and do craft the metallurgic infuser, let's maybe... We might as well make blueprints for it, uh, or patterns. Um, that way we don't have to calculate how much of everything we need. So, metallurgic. This guy will go into this. Which will go into... Boom, boom, this. Perfect. Which will go into this. Perfect. Which will go into this. And that's ultimate. I think ultimate is the final one. So that should be good. And we can chuck all this stuff in here. Boom, boom, boom. Um, hmm. I think the way we're going to have to do this is a little bit weird. Because we use a metallurgic infuser to make the upgraded metallurgic infusers. Um, how, are they not even, how are they not here? What have I done? Did I not put the met metallurgic at mechanism? Huh? Did I make the wrong blueprints? What have I done? <laughs> I've, I've done something wrong. Infusing factory. Yeah. Oh, they're, they're not called metallurgic anymore. They're just called infusing. Okay. That I mean, that makes sense. So let's put this guy in. And the first job will be this guy. Missing one metallurgic infuser. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> hold, hold the phone. Oh, I think we want a basic first, right? Missing a metallurgic infuser. Well, you're just a liar. It's right here. Oh, I, apparently... Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Metallurgic infuser. I probably should have just crafted these in my inventory at this point, but... I mean, we've, we've already gone the distance... Let's grab this guy, place him over here. Nope, not metallurgic. Infusing. Um, 
So the basic, I don't think we have to craft anything. Well, how are you missing furnaces? Oh my god, I'm just getting trolled at this point. We have a million cobble. At this point, surely it would just teach itself how to make this stuff. I mean, come on. Infusing. Okay. <laughs> Let's make it advanced. Come on. That should not take long. We shouldn't have to infuse anything. Nope, apparently we do have to infuse two measly little guys. But, but that, nope, apparently we have to do a little bit more. Infusing. Oh my god. Th this is going to be a long one already. Honestly, I don't even know if I have the storage space on my computer for this. I'm going to go and clean a bunch of uh, old recordings out soon. <laughs> so hopefully it's not too long. Okay, the advanced infusing factory is complete. Okay. How long is this one going to take? Mm, honestly, it should be fine. <laughs> it's just, it, just going to craft a few things. Uh, you know what? I, I mean, you already know what I'm going to do. Once this guy's completed, I'll just order the next one up, the ultimate, and I'll be back. I'll be back when that's done. All right, the elite's done. I'm just going to show you that I'm, like, crafting it. So, we're crafting the next one, and let's let's have a look at what we're going to have to craft. Uh, yeah, you know, that's not too bad. Ignore the fact that more things are being put in as we're waiting, but <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. And I think this is the last piece of the puzzle. There's nothing else waiting here, so... I should be able to search infusing. And we have an ultimate infusing factory. Beautiful. Let me double check how these inputs work. Um, yellow, red, green, blue. Okay. Pick this guy up. Easy peasy. Place down the ultimate. Lag a little bit, apparently. Um, side config. I've already forgotten what it was. I, I think it was like this anyway. It was... Um, oh, what was it? Extra at the bottom. Input on the left. Output at the top. And then green on the side for energy. But I don't think the energy side actually matters. And as you can see, this is a lot better. And if we click on auto sort, it'll split up the um, recipes for maximum uh, crafting. So, now, if we search mechanism, um, we can probably get the stuff we want. So, chemical crystallizer, craft. Chemical dissolution, craft. Um, chemical injection, craft. Chemical washer, yep. Um, I think there's another thing I want. Is it the purification? Yep. And I think that's everything. W worst case, I mean, we'll just craft more. So, this is how it's going now. Ooh, the speed upgrades. Um, this guy. Boom, boom, boom. Upgrades. Click this. Eject all the speed upgrades. And place them all in here. Let's have a look. Um, I think they take a while. Nope, they're all in. This is... This is meant to be as fast as it goes. It does appear to be... Going fast, or lagging, or a combination. I think we have enough power. Using... Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> We're using 10,000 RF per tick. But we need 156 million RF? Hmm. I'm a little bit confused. But the bar on this, on this right side seems to be going fine. Um, so yeah, this now I just... we I guess we just wait. For everything to be crafted. Um, and I'll... I don't know. Maybe build a wall around here. Mm, I don't think we can build a wall yet. I, I think the wall waits until we know where everything's going to go. Alright, so I thought I'd do a little bit of prep just while we're waiting for everything to craft. And I think this is how I'm going to sort of do it. Let's get an exporter. Set it up sort of like this, right? So we export... I'm, I might actually need an advanced to get more room. Um, exporter. I think advanced. Elite, ultra... And creative? Advanced exporter. I don't know which ones are for applied energistics and which ones are for just refined storage. You know what I mean? I think these are all for the right one. What's the difference between the advanced? Uh, I don't know. Let's give the advanced a try then, maybe. Advanced exporter. Click this. Um, control click to craft that. And hopefully it shouldn't take too long. Nope. Do I need to craft more things? What's, what's going on here? I have no idea what just happened. Okay, here we go. I don't know what happened, but we managed to get it <laughs> somehow. Um, how big is the storage on this guy? Boom. Um, too big. Well, you know, twice as big. <laughs> too big. Um, that's pretty good. I, I, I think I'm happy with that. Basically, we're going to put one of every ore in here. So maybe I do that off camera. Um, what ores do we actually want to have in here, though? I guess all these? Hmm. Oh, you know the problem as well that I just realized? 
Um, we don't really have the ores. They don't exist because they're getting processed. So, I need to... Boom, boom, boom. Um, disable this guy. By doing that. There we go. And we could probably actually just steal this... You know what? We probably could have just taken the whole thing. And we're probably going to take this with us. Ooh, I just... Ooh. I'm just realizing now, we might still need this for some of the recipes. So, maybe I'll leave him there for now. Just in case we need some of this stuff. Maybe not. In fact, are we done? Are we... Do we have everything? I think we do. Chemical crystallizer. Chemical dissolution. Chemical injector. Chemical washer. Purif purification. Um... I think that's everything. Okay. <laughs> yeah, nice. Um, I guess we can pick this guy up. Maybe. Uh, I'll leave him there for now, though. I'll leave him there for now, because he, he's one of the last steps. So, assuming we're still going to be using basic pipes, but we can, you know, upgrade them as we go. Everything is going to go into this chest. From here, it is going to be output um, into the chemical crystallizer? No, we <laughs> The chemical dissolution. This is the first step. It will go into this guy. We are going to need a lot more room, aren't we? Hmm. Will we? Uh, maybe we can do this. Comp we'll see how compact we can get this. Okay. You know what? I actually haven't even looked. What does the guy need? He needs sulfuric acid. So, somehow we get sulfuric acid in here. How do we do that? With a... Either a chemical infuser... Or an item, ga item to gas. Sulfur dust. And I think this is what we're going to do. Sulfur to sulfuric acid. How much sulfur do we have? <laughs> we we're doing pretty good on the sulfur. Let's get another purification then. Because we need one of these. Boom. Um, we also need another exporter. Uh, we have one on us. We, we don't need another one. Um, purification. Don't know how long this will take. Took a little bit longer than I had of hoped. But I, I mean it was still pretty fast considering. Okay. So this guy is going to sit... Here. Right. Looks pretty cool. Um, the front of it is going to be... Let's clear all these sides. Boom, boom, boom. Nope. Are we not allowed to? Yep, we are. Okay. The front is going to be the output. I'm just seeing what, what other options there are. Yeah, so front is output. That's the main thing. Um, and then... Hmm. I don't know how to... Do I do gases? And then I have... No, I think gas is the output. Input. But you don't put gas in. You put item in. And then item... Huh? Hold on. Hold on. I think I messed up. Ah, uh, you know what? I don't think these sort of count in the same way. Wait. Hold, hold, hold the phone. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Hold on to it. Can I put sulfur directly in here? No. I don't think I can. Unless sulfur dust? Hmm, let me check. Alright, I pulverized some sulfur dust. Ooh, okay. That does work. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, okay. Game sort of changed a little bit again. Oh, this is a... This is a task. Um, this seems like the easy way to do it. Um, but the other way to do it would be... Boop, 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 to get sulfur trioxide and water vapor. <laughs> right? Um, or... Yeah, sulfur trioxide, which you would get from... <laughs> which you would get from oxygen and sulfur dioxide, which you would get from sulfur dioxide and a chemical oxidizer. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We're just going to use the pulverizer. That is that is a lot easier than, um, you know, all that other mumbo-jumbo. So, let's maybe... Can I even set the front of these guys to output? No. So, yeah, I've got to... If I want it to look clean, i got to do it this way. Okay, okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. Um, hmm. You know what? I think I can one-up it and place it directly here. And so side config. Let's clear all these again. The back is going to be the extra. Perfect. This guy is going to input from the right side. Um, it is going to have an exporter here. With sulfur on it. And this cable is going to connect like that. So this guy should already be getting it. Perfect. Um, we're going to need power over here as well. I've just realized. Um, doo -doo -doo. You know what? I think we can make more niotic cables. And we might just cable the whole thing up. Um, hmm. Okay, yeah, yeah. We can, we can make a bunch of cables. A bunch of cables. Um, so let's actually move this guy. 
to be in the center, just so that it looks a little bit cleaner as well. Boom, boom, boom. Perfect. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Here we go. That can go there. Um, as for powering this other stuff, I should have definitely thought about that beforehand. We're going to move it. <laughs> uh, well, you know what? We don't really have to move it. We can just run the cables under the floor here. Like that. Well, yeah, I guess we still will have to move it. Because uh, I want to place it here. Um, but I think what we'll do instead is have the output be the top. Auto output into this, that, this. Have this be not at the back, but instead be at the top. Like that. Okay, that should work. <laughs> this should work, in theory. And then this can still come across like that, like this, like this, like that. Oh, we're, okay, we're learning. We're learning. Sulfur goes here. This guy fills up with sulfur. He starts pulverizing stuff. The sulfur then gets put in here, and we slowly but surely get sulfuric acid. This guy, we can upgrade. We can get speed upgrades, but we'll worry about that later. We'll figure out where we're bottlenecked later. First focus is this guy. So, the sulfuric acid part is working. The items, we want to go up in the red part, I think. So, side config, input red, output over here, blue. Okay. Um, <laughs> perfect. Now... What we can do is have a look at where this goes next. So, this would go into a chemical washer that has water. That's my understanding. Yeah, so chemical washer with water. So, the chemical washer, wherever it is, it's here somewhere. Chemical washer is going to go... We might be able to place it right next to it. And have this guy auto-export. Um, Auto-eject. That should work. So, inside here... Mm, wait, hold on. I think what we want to do, actually, because at the moment we're doing the item config, there's no item that it outputs. It instead outputs a slurry. So we want the slurry to output on the right. Auto eject on. Perfect. Okay, it's all coming together. Now what we want to do, does this guy take any items? No. Okay. So instead, we want the slurry to input on the left. Right. <laughs> Bear with me. Um, it's also going to receive fluids. From the back, I'm going to set up like a sink, like this. Um, the sink can go here with a fluid pipe for mechanism. Fluid um, at mechanism, boom, boom, boom. Basic mechanical pipe. Uh, we have some... No. Oh, those are logistical. Okay. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Um, so there we go. Configure it. Can I configure it like this? I can. Okay. So as you can see, filling up with water. Beautiful. Once we start getting, you know, something, it'll go through here. In fact, can I test this? Can I get, like, an iron? <laughs> can I get an iron? Um, I, no, I think I need the ores. Um, what ore do we have that I could test with? We have diamond ore. You know what? That's, that sounds like a good one to go with. Diamond ore in here? Nope. <laughs> okay, diamond. Diamond ore is not one that we can do. Platinum, surely, though. Platinum, come on. Platinum. Yes. So, platinum goes in here, and it processes. And it takes a while. It's waiting on sulfur. So that's already a bottleneck. It's already not doing the thing. Hold on. Auto output. Do I need to configure this? Like that? Oh, like that. Yeah, there we go, there we go. We still definitely will need a lot more sulfur because look at how far this bar will move with this stuff. Let's see. Did it even move? Hey, you know, it's moving a bit. But, but we definitely will need to fix that. It, it's fine, it's fine. As long as it's functional in theory. We can figure out the rest later. So, we'll get the slurry in here. Chemical washer. So, from the chemical washer, you'll get the clean slurry. And it's still a slurry. The slurry then goes into a chemical crystallizer. Okay? So, this will go right here. So, that means we go into the sign config. We click on slurries. Output to the right. Auto eject on. This guy, we have it on the slurry side that for some reason it was on the right side this time we want this to input from the left that's the only side then we get an actual item from this guy which is beautiful and i would like him to actually output at the top i think eject on so he's going to receive the slurry he's going to go and he's going to process it's going to end up here auto eject right yep auto eject up and if we check boom we get like a crystal it goes into a chemical injection chamber. 
chemical injection chamber, like this, right? So this guy, right, he receives the items from the bottom. And then from the back, he receives another input, which I think is the extra. Yes. And, and so what does it need to be? So crystallizer, yet like a tin crystal, goes in here with hydrogen. So it needs to be hydrogen. So it can be salt. How much salt do we have? Do we have like an insane amount of salt? We, we have none. We have no salt. Hydrogen. How do we pull hydrogen out of thin air? Um, I think we literally can use thin air. We put in water and it turns it into hydrogen and oxygen with an electrolytic separator. That, that sounds good to me. And then we just dump the oxygen unless we use it for a different thing. Okay. Electrolytic separator. I'm going to make a quick pattern for you. Um, well, actually, you know what? I probably don't need to. I can probably just... Oh, actually, what are you? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. I don't know about this. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. I'll just make the whole thing. Boom. Oh. Boom. We might need some dust. Which is fine. It's just a little bit annoying. Um, let's also run over here. Boom, boom, boom. Clear you. That should be fine. Um, so. Electrolytic. Here you go. Electrolytic separator. We need... Iron dust, gold dust. Okay. Okay. We, we can we can deal with that. We can deal with that. Iron. Gold. And do I crush you by any chance? It looks like it. Crushed. Beautiful. Okay. Electrolytic. Let's put this stuff in. Boom, boom, boom. Craft. Perfect. That should not take long at all. I refuse for it to take long. It, it should be the fastest thing ever. Uh, or not, or not, yeah, you, you know what, take your time. Alright, that took a lot longer, <laughs> it took even longer, I had to cut a little bit. Um, so this guy, right, th this guy's pretty cool, because I think I can get away with having him, like, up here. So chemical crystallizer, place this here. Does this have a fluid side? No. Items, no, nothing about fluids. Um, where are your outputs? Let's have a look. Um, where is he? Electrolytic separator. So if I put water in, um, water, hydrogen left, oxygen right. Hydrogen left, oxygen right. So gases, output left. Okay. Hopefully this works. Um, and then all I should have to do is place this here. And let's see. Hydrogen left, oxygen right. This should be working. This guy should have, if I set it up correctly, gases. Um, he's already on input on every side, so I don't know why he's already not receiving the gas. You know what? I think it's because it has to be... Hmm. Can it not... Does it have to be, like, condensed in some form? Um, the, the reason I'm saying this is because we, ha if we have a look at the chemical infuser... No. No. What is this thing? Chemical injection. Where is it? Chemical... It's one of these. <laughs> I know it's here somewhere. Um, if we have a look here, it shows a tank full of stuff. It doesn't... Like, I don't know if we can just have the stuff go in. Hydrogen chloride. That's different than just hydrogen. That's hydrogen and chlorine. Chlorine. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Let's also bookmark salt, just so I can check the recipe for that in a second. Bookmark chlorine as well. What's this? Flowing brine can be separated. Okay, you know, you know what? That's actually good, because brine, you can get from water. I know that much, because you make a thermal evaporation thing, and you put water in, and you get brine out, just using solar panel. So solar power. <sighs> this is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Um, what about salt, though? Salt blocks? <laughs> That seems a bit far-fetched. Chemical crystallizer? Gaseous brine? Makes salt? And I, I mean, I assume that... Yeah, that's just brine through another machine. What about a block of salt? Can we, like, somehow summon this? No? Okay. Ooh, this got a little bit harder. Um, thermal evaporation controller. What's it tell me about this guy? We need evaporation blocks. This might be easy. The controller for a thermal evaporation plant. Um, okay. <laughs> you know what? Let's go add the blueprints for it. Let's add the patterns. We're going all out. I, I cleared some room while I was waiting for things to craft. So 
This video can be longer than I originally thought it could be. So, this guy, boom, recipe, wonderful. Next up, the thermal evaporation blocks. It uses steel, it uses copper. We have that stuff. Beautiful. Now I present to you, getting all the things. Um, <laughs> so, thermal, boom. One of these, please. Let's see how long that takes. And then I'm actually going to go for two stacks of these. Not sure how long any of this is going to take to craft. But we're just sort of going to let it happen. And I guess I'll report back to you guys when it's all done. All right, well, some of it's done, right? Th this stuff's done. Um, and a few blocks. I want to see if it has to be as tall as I see them sometimes. Like, like sometimes you see them built and they're massive. Um, so I wonder if they have to be that big or if it's sort of like a, a more, more of an efficiency thing, right? So place this. I don't really know how big they're meant to be or if they're meant to have a floor on them. But we're going to put one in. I think they're meant to be a square. Let's grab more of it. Thermal. I've made one of these in the past, but I followed a guide pretty strictly. Like, I, I didn't try to just experiment, which is quite clearly what I'm doing now. Um, so, already, <laughs> does this count? It doesn't look like it. No. It doesn't tell me what to do, though. That's what, I, that's what I'm a little worried about, is the lack of uh, communication with me. Um, I'm pretty sure this is how it's done, though. I'm hoping I'm right, or otherwise... We're just wasting time. Um, I'll tell you what. I'll do this this layer here. <laughs> just to see if that triggers something. Because usually 3x3s three are like... Okay. That didn't do anything. Um, I'm going to look up a, a little guide. Because I, I, I don't remember how this works. Ladies and gentlemen. I think it's a 4x4. Four four. I think... I, I looked at a picture. So I haven't even looked at the full tutorial. But I think it's just a 4x4. Four four. So I think... There's not really much else you need. I, th I think you can place drains in them. I could be wrong on that, but but I guess we'll find out if this doesn't work. Um, boom, 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 boom. How about that? Eh, yeah, look at that. Fancy, fancy particles. So a four by four, and here it is. Um, temperature, production, formed, dissipated. Okay, I'm wondering. Does this use power? Like, can I? Like, I don't really know how it works. It doesn't look like it. Okay. Um. Because normally they have, like, solar panels on the top. And if I'm honest, I don't really know why. What did, what did I do? Okay. Um, but yeah, normally they have solar panels on the top, so I'm, I'm not too sure. I, I assume as well, the higher we make it, the more efficient, so I'll probably do that at some point. In fact, hmm, we'll, we'll probably use, like, a copy-paste gadget to make it easier. Um, but we also need, boom, 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 um, fluids from the sink to go in here. I'm pretty sure. Which means I think we need to have a drain. Unless it, like, attaches there. No. Okay. So. Fix this hole. Um, thermal evaporation valve. Beautiful. That is precisely what we're after. Valve. Boom. Thermal evaporation valve. I think we need two of these. So, let's order another one as well. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Boom. Um, what's that thing called? Advanced... Yeah, one of these. Boom. Thermal evaporation. Thermal evaporation. Perfect. Um, I'm hoping I can place them at the bottom here. Like that. No, it doesn't... <laughs> it doesn't seem happy that I tried to do that. It's like, are you serious? How, how would that work? What's it, it going to pipe into? That works, though. Place that there. Place the valve there. That works. Um, I'm actually going to move the controller. The controller does not need to be there. The controller can be over here. Um, boom. So then what we'll do is this can go up into there, right? Make this extract. So now water goes in here. Water goes in here. And as you can see, we've already got brine in here. So, so that's already working. Um, next up... Hmm, how am I going to do this? What I need to do is... Oh, I'm struggling a bit. I need to detach these. Ooh, what are you doing, buddy? I need to detach them, but I don't know how. How do I detach them? Let's change the mode to um, configure water or fluids. Right click here and here. Okay. Oh, I've done it. I've detached them. It's beautiful. Okay. Now this guy is going to be an extract. Extract the brine. And I'm going to try and not connect the two pipes, but that should work there. Right? And does this guy... Wait, what am I doing? No. That's not how that works. Um, hmm. <laughs> I'm struggling a bit. Let's pick this up. 
I think you have to combine them, right? Ah, yes, yes, yes. I need another electrolytic separator. Another one of these guys, which means I need another... Ah, iron. Boom. Gold. Oh, it's, it was already there. That's fine. Boom. And I gotta go crush these. Alright, the other one is built. Beautiful. So... Hmm. How am I going to do this? So, one of these is going to get water. I, I don't know... Yeah, the, these pipes are scaring me. One of these will go here, and that'll be the water one, right? So, put water in, hydrogen, oxygen, out. Um, we'll have another one here, right on top. And this is the guy that will get the brine. So, this will go like that. So, he gets brine, and he makes sodium and chlorine. Perfect. And then I need to... No, I'm not that one. Onion seeds. When did I put... When, when did I bookmark onion seeds? Um, what am I looking at? How have I already lost what I'm looking at? I need... Do, 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 chemical infuser, right? Boom. No. Hold on. I need hydrogen chloride. That's what I need to bookmark. So the hydrogen and the chlorine come together in a chemical infuser... And they make they make ma magical babies. Um, chemical infuser I don't have on me. Chemical infuser we don't have made, so I'm gonna have to make one. Looks like it's this guy. Chemical infuser. We can order craft the entire recipe. Beautiful. Give that a, a little bit of time. Um, and I think we can do that right next to this. I, I think this should be fine. All I have to do now is connect this here. We can actually pick up this cable. And that should be good. All I'll have to do is make sure that it's inputting... Yeah, it's inputting from every side, so that's fine. Um, okay. So, yeah. The only thing now would be, like, the brine production and the sulfur production. That's currently the slow parts, right? Um, okay, let's try and make this infuser again. Infuse... Chemical infuser. Beautiful. It should all be here. Nope. Is it still really crafting? Soon, we definitely need to go through and upgrade all of our crafters to be the higher tier, because this is ridiculous. I don't know what it's possibly waiting on that it, like, can't craft these basic control circuits. But, like, come on. I mean, is this guy even working? What? The redstone's in here, but it's just not getting anything. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> it has carbon in it, because it was making steel. Hmm. Hmm. The infusing factory might have been a, not a smart play. Is what I'm thinking. I don't know why I would do that. It, it's worked fine for everything else. But then just with that steel stuff, it, it fumbled up. Like, what? It's still missing a little bit? Wow, what's going on? Honestly, I'm not too sure. Hopefully that was a one-off. We might have to check in on it later, but... Can I grab my stuff? Yes. Chemical infuser. Let's double check. Is the storage is fine? Yeah, okay. Because normally whenever there's like weird issues, it's because the storage is messed up. That seems fine. So, here I want the chemical infuser. Um, and it's already receiving the hydrogen. I want to also change this to input from the top. And he's going to be outputting probably... Probably out the back? Or... I don't... I'm not too sure yet. Maybe out the back. Let's do that. Gases out of the um, back. Output. Okay. Um, auto eject doesn't really matter. I'm going to place... Now, th these do liquids. But what we're actually wanting here is the chlorine, which also means I think I want output 2 to come there. And this, that, the rest of that should be fine. Um, so, I'm going to need a gas pipe, right? So, at mechanism. Um, and then do I just search pipe? And then do we see everything? These are mechanical pipes. Um, I'm not too sure what it would be called. Maybe like a tube? Pressurized tube. That's exactly what it's called. A tube. Um, do we need any specific tube? Nope. Just a tube. Okay. Um, oh. Is that simple? It's, it's that simple apparently. Tube right here. And is that working? What's that doing? That did the wrong stuff. Huh. Okay. Output one then is what I want. So let's break that. Did I break something else? I broke this guy, didn't I? Boom. And I gotta make that output again. Oh my god. The the Paxel's too powerful. Okay, tube. Now is it doing the right stuff? 
What's going on here? Pull and push. Hydrogen. Huh. And chlorine is obviously what I'm after. Um... Oh, well, um, for starters, we don't have power. But uh, uh, it shouldn't matter. I'm trying to get out the the stuff. Let's clear that. Oh, did I? Oh, I did the wrong thing. I didn't do the gases. There we go. Now we're in business. So now we've got hydrogen chloride. That is what we want. Um, I'm also going to have to power all this stuff. So I didn't really think about that, did I? Hmm. Boom, boom, boom. I think we're fine. <laughs> I think we can squeeze a cable under here. Right? Do this. Do that, do this. And does this guy need power too? Yep, of course he does. Um, that will happen like this. Boom, boom. Alright, everything's powered again. This is doing its thing. This should be doing its thing. Um, this guy, I want to have do dump excess as well as this guy. So now, once the sodium fills up and once the oxygen fills up, it will keep producing. It will just dump all the excess stuff into the atmosphere. Um, so that's fine. Hydrogen chloride now. Perfect. We want that to go into this guy. So, we will set up a pressurized tube here, here, and here. Um, we don't want it to go in there, so let's see if we can get rid of that. Perfect. We want to configure this guy to have the output gas actually come out here. Output blue. There we go. So now, hydrogen chloride in here. It's processing the platinum crystals. Perfect. How cool is that? So all we're waiting on here is power. Oh, nice. Awesome. Let's hook this guy up. Boom. Okay. Um, the chemical crystallizer as well needs power, as well as the guy up here. <laughs> There's actually a lot of things that need power. Um, I did not really think about that when I placed all this stuff. Let's maybe pressurize tube. Oh, no. We don't want that happening. Oh, that's a mess. Okay, that, I think we're fine. Pressurized tube, pressurized tube, and let's just uh, pick up this and this. And then I can run the cable up here and here. And it's a little bit messy, but that's just the way of life. So now everything should be powered, right? Everything's powered. Everything, everything's powered. This is powered. Everything, everything's powered. Okay, <laughs> nice. So, we should have a bunch of chunks up here that turn into shards. The shards go into a purification chamber, which is, ooh, which is the same thing, but it actually uses the oxygen. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I still want it to dump excess, just in case we fill up, but I actually want, okay, wait, 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 wait. We want another purification chamber to be, do, 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 do. how do I want to do this? I want it here, but I want to actually clear this. Oh, wrong wrench. Okay. Everything should be fine. Clear that. Perfect. Open this guy up. He probably has... Nope. He's got nothing in him. Beautiful. Okay. You are going to receive input items from the left. You are going to output items. Auto output from the left. Perfect. Platinum shard. Beautiful. Ah, oh, it's all coming together. Um, we're running out of room, though. <laughs> but it, it's fine. It's fine. We can figure this we can even move the path if we have to. Um, or have the path go through it and just, like, go around it. <laughs> but we'll see what happens. Um, so, this guy's making oxygen, right? So, hopefully I can... Let's see if I can even do this. Can I output gas from the front? Output number two? It looks possibly like it. That will work there. Let's make more of these um, tubes. Boom, boom, boom. Tube. Boom. I need a little bit more steel. Hopefully, I'm allowed to craft steel. Hopefully, my system doesn't yell at me. You know what as well would be really helpful? One of these crafting monitors. One of these wireless ones. Um, essentially, what these guys do is... It shows you what the crafting does, right? But wirelessly. So, we, we can keep an eye on everything that's working. So, make one of these. Um, make one of these. And now I can right-click. In theory. Oh, I might have to link it to my system. So, let's go do that. Let's... Oh, oh struggling a bit. Run in here, shift click that. There we go. It's lit up. And so if I right click this, you can see nothing's crafting at the moment, apparently. Which means my steel should be done. 
Which means... <laughs> there's lots of meanings here. I should be able to make my tubes. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, the tubes... Purification chamber. Chemical injection chamber. Okay. These pressurized tubes will go here. These will disconnect. And the tube will come up here. Oh, they didn't connect. That's beautiful. Um, and then the tube will go there. Right. Let's also check this guy. I want to make sure that he's not outputting anything to the right side. Because I'm about to play stuff here. Um, so that should be good. He's working. He's processing. He does need power. Oh, I didn't... I didn't think about the power again. Um, you know what? Let's see if we can... <laughs> let's see if we can get away with doing this. Um... Doing that. Yeah, that's awesome. After I disconnected one of the cables, one of the pipes, they stopped connecting. That is an amazing feature. I don't know if that's intentional, or if like something happened, but that is awesome that 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 it stopped connecting. Um, so he still has the oxygen. Let's double check that he's yep he's inputting the gas from the top. Platinum clumps. So the platinum clumps then go into a crusher. It's all coming together. So, um, the reason I changed things around is so that we could sneak a cable up here. Um, like that. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, okay. So, a crusher, you say? I think we have... Crush... No, we don't have crusher? Did I manually make that crusher before? I must have. Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Do I want to manually do this? Or do I want to... You know what? I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm just going to make the recipes for it. I'm just going to make these blueprints again. Um, crush. Boom. So I would like <laughs> the ultimate crushing factory. Ah, uh, you know what? No. I want a normal crusher. That's all I want. I th I think. <laughs> I, th I think all I want is a normal crusher. Crusher. One of you, please. Craft. And speed upgrades would be nice as well. And let's watch it on our crafting monitor. Ooh, look at it go. It's pretty cool though, might I add, that we can actually craft lava buckets now. Uh, now that we have like lava in our system. I enjoy that. I, I think that's pretty cool. So this is all doing its thing. I, I just realized though, I probably... Hmm. How are we storing lava at the moment? In here? In this interface? In this interface. In this guy, okay. Okay, I guess that works. Um, okay. So, Crusher... Oh, Crusher's not complete. Okay, we, we keep waiting. Okay, so, so once again, the factory has come into play where... It's taking things that it shouldn't. Hmm. It could be an issue of the auto-sort. So, let me disable the auto-sort. Let me open the monitors and... Cancel everything. And then take out, um, dump this, grab this, right? Okay, put this stuff back in. Let's now search again for the crusher. Order the crusher. Order the speed upgrades and see if that fixes it. One more speed upgrade. Because I think the problem is when we do two different recipes and they try and put them all in the one thing, I think. But, but I guess we'll find out. Oh, a little bit of lag. Someone just teleported to me at my waist zone, I think. Now, it seemed to work that time. Everything seems to be fine now. But that was a little bit weird. So, let's get our crusher. Boom. And our speed upgrade. Perfect. Okay. Fly back over here. Here we go. Um, so, <laughs> crusher will go here, I think. Yeah, we're definitely running out of room. Um, side output auto eject. And get rid of all that stuff. Perfect. I think. So now the crusher goes in here, or the platinum clump, or, or whatever clump it is, ends up in here, which will speed up. You know what? We honestly need speed upgrades for all of these, so I don't know why I'm really bothered with that. Then we get dust, but it's dirty dust. So we need to put it in an enrichment chamber, which I don't actually have on me. Um, enrichment. Oh. Enrichment chamber. We have one spare, just a normal guy. Um, hmm. <laughs> Do I do this? Do I dare? I guess, you know what I could do? Hmm. You know what I could do? Let's pick this guy up. We can use these these cables to make it not look horrific, right? 
we can have this run down here. And here, right? And then I can place the crusher there. The cable connects so he has power. How good's that? Change this guy to be input and this guy to be output. We can clear all the other sides. And there we go. All I need to do now is do, 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 configure this guy to export. And this should work, in theory. What's it, what are we waiting on? Hydrogen chloride we're waiting on. Why are we waiting on hydrogen chloride? Um, because something else is in this pipe, right? I betcha. Oh, oh, oh. They all connected. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. How can I easily do this without having them connect? I don't want I don't want them connected. Are they going to stay unconnected or was that just because they had stuff in the no. Okay. Um hmm. <laughs> Let me do this and and I'll see if I can get it working. Right? So empty these or, you know, click these until they're not connected. Click these until they're not connected. Nope, that one actually needs to be connected. Click this. Nope, that one actually needs to be connected. I've already confused where I'm at. These need to not be connected. Okay. And then, currently, this is the wrong stuff, right? At least I think... Oh, what are you doing down there, buddy? You should not be there. Um, what I want to do is buh, 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 grab a tank. <laughs> um, a chemical tank. Craft one of them, because apparently we don't own them. And use this to export the extra gas. Right, so place that there. He fills up with oxygen. We can probably just leave that now, honestly. Just in case the oxygen gets back in this loop. Yeah, why not? Okay, back in business. <laughs> a little a little problem in that, and that's fixed. We can also do um, dumping excess. There you go. Problem solved. So this will get processed. It'll go in here again. And then the dirty platinum will force output into an enrichment chamber, which will receive its power from beneath. Beautiful. Uh, do I want it to be placed in front of this? You know what? I don't think I do. I, I kind of want to see all the machines. Because I, I honestly, I love the way that me uh, mechanisms machines look. As I place one in the ground. Um, hmm. You know what? I, I reckon we do something like this. And I replace the floor, right? With marble. Right? What are we thinking? And then we have almost like a little a little dip. A little bit of lag while I do this, apparently. That's fine. Boom. Boom. Boom, boom. How does this look? And then I can place a, a thing here as well. A marble. Does this look pretty nice? I reckon that doesn't look too bad. And, and all, all we're going to do is have like a, a cable here. Right? Um, have this guy... Do, do, do. Output at the bottom. Output. Perfect. This guy will input from the bottom. Boom, 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 boom. And probably output to the left. Right? He can auto-eject too. Why not? Um, this cable we probably want to redo. And wants to be a logistical transporter. Perfect. Did I not set the input to the right side? No, I didn't. There we go. Um, and I think it already auto-ejected. So I, we don't actually have to configure this. Beautiful. Wonderful. So this will process into platinum dust. And then guess what we do with that? Oh, it's beautiful. We just smelt it. We smelted it to all its glory. <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, okay, so our system, our wonderful system, is pretty much complete. Pretty much. Um, let's just set up a normal smelter, just for now. We can, you know, we can upgrade them later. Ooh, I just remembered as well. Someone taught me something really cool. Apparently, mechanism have upgrades. Like, um, <laughs> they have upgrades. Um, but they have, like, upgrade kits. So instead of picking up the factory and upgrading it in your inventory, yeah, tier, tier installers. I think this is what it is. So, if I were to get a basic tier installer, let me craft this guy. Probably will take a little while, won't it? Alright, if I make one of these... Word on the street is, if I also grab the smelter we just got, I can just slap a little smelter upgrade on him. I can um, right-click him, or maybe shift right-click him. Yeah, and he upgrades. That is so cool. So now, now we can hold three. Beautiful. Um, this guy is going to input from the right. 
So he gets the, that. We can have auto sort on if we would like. We'll put, you know, speed upgrades in. Um, and then he will simply... I don't know what he'll simply do. What will he simply do? Let's move this around a bit as well. Make it look a little bit better. Oh, that is not the right thing. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Nope, that's the wrong block. Um, marble. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Nice. We, we could probably even just put glass in the floor, honestly. Ooh, that might look amazing. Th think about it. Think about it, right? If I get some glass... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, I'm excited now. Hopefully we have glass. Um, I'm also not responding, so it's possible my game just crashed. Fingers crossed. Nope. Okay. We look to be good. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Now we can see the beauti me beautiful mechanism machines, but, you know, we have a flat ground. That is awesome. I like that. So now I can break this without worrying too much about what it will look like. And this is pretty much the end of the train, right? So all I have to do now is go back over here with, here, let's make it look beautiful. Do this and this. Have this guy open him up. Yeah, I seem to be freezing a lot. So we're probably going to have to wrap up soon. Um, input from the right, output from the left at auto eject. Um, and perhaps it's as simple as having... Well, actually, it's probably as simple as just having an ender chest. Right? Just making this an ender chest. Let's have a look. Um, ender chest. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'll probably need a diamond. Because I think we have an ender chest, but I don't think it's locked. And yeah, look at this. We're, we're very... We're chugging along. We're very slow. Um, boom, boom. Diamond time. Diamond. Oh, I see him. Yoink. Ah. Boom. Make you diamond. Nice and locked. Boom. I like these new upgraded uh, looks. I, I like how they look. And then I think I can place it like this. That will connect. And as you can see, it gets placed in here and put in our system. Ladies and gentlemen, it's definitely something. It might not be the way to do it, but it's the way we've done it, okay? It's the way we've done it for sure. I like it. I like it. So the hydrogen, the extra hydrogen gets dumped, even though we're using the hydrogen, right? Oh, it's full of hydrogen. So all we're waiting on is the brine. And I think we can get more out of this um, just by... Making this guy be a bit taller. Um, so, maybe I can do that now. I was going to wrap up, but... If I grab a copy-paste gadget, right? If I grab this. If I put him into copy mode. And I shift-right-click this block. And then I right-click this block. Then I think I can just paste this entire square. Now, it doesn't appear to have worked at all. Because the copy-paste gadget has been really weird. What am I clicking on? Is this something on my computer? <laughs> okay, so <laughs> the game apparently crashed. Um, so that was interesting. Uh, I'm not sure if it has to do with the copy-paste gadget. Um, I don't think it would be because I, I was lagging leading up to it. But um, in case it was, let's just manually do this stuff. So all we're doing is just manually placing this stuff up a bit higher, right? And it should get more efficient the higher it goes. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Um... I was hoping the copy-paste gadget would work. I'll give it another try in a second. Um, do, 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 what am I looking for? Um, evaporation blocks. We, have a, we, we can craft more as well if we need more. Um, I don't know how high they go. Let's go like... I, I hate the jetpack, but we're working on it. And by working on it, I mean we're waiting for the bees to get updated, right? Or, or fixed so that uh, our netherite bee can actually get us netherite. Because we need that for um, the stuff. And then hopefully we can figure out any sort of um, bee... Um, all the modium bees and stuff like that. Uh, I'm hoping we can get some. I don't know how we'll be able to, but I'm hoping we can. So this should be filling up in it. And it is. It's very ominous. Just slowly, very slowly rising up. Um, so this guy should be more efficient. Already, I feel like it is. Am I wrong in thinking that this is a lot more brine than we previously had? Like, the pipes are full now. I don't think they were full before. Were they? It's possible. No, they definitely weren't. They definitely weren't. Um, but yeah, this... Well, maybe it's done? I don't know. I guess I guess it's getting more water. That's probably what we're waiting on, so... It's up to the, um... The tubes. <laughs> the pipes. Um, but I think this works now. I think it works. It's just a matter of, um... It's a little bit slow at the moment, right? But in theory, I think everything here works. I think the only actual thing left is this guy right here. 
make him be uh, an extract. I, th I think that should do it. I want to test with, um, I don't know, say a stack of platinum? Well, we can't really test, can we? I mean, we we test by coming back and checking to see if everything worked. But in theory, the stuff goes in here. The things happen once again. Sulfuric acid seems to be our slow point. So we'll have to uh, figure this out. Maybe even set up like ender tanks for some of this stuff. And have the processing happen elsewhere. Um, but everything else I think is fine. Like the oxygen, that should be fine. Um, the, sulf the hydrogen chloride, or whatever it is. Um, that's just waiting on this. And that should get more efficient as it fills up, I think. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like we're pretty good. One last thing I would like to do is, is what I talked about at the start of the video, which was um, trying to set up this guy, the, the liquid meat. So let's see if I can go ahead and get um, that user. What does this guy cost that I don't have? Blocks of gold is easy. Dispenser, tripwire hooks, and is that it? Tripwire hooks, a dispenser. We don't have string. We, do, we don't have string. Did I solve our string problem at all? Or did I just ignore it? I think I just ignored it. Um, maybe we should fix that soon as well. Um, it's it's fine, isn't it? Did what, How'd the string instantly get used up? Um, spider. String. What, what, what's the thing called that we just got string from? I am furious. Um, this thing. What's it called? Sh sh what, what even is this word? Are you kidding me? They're just making up words now. Make a bunch of those. Do that. Um, dispenser. Beautiful. Item user. We need the blocks of gold. That's an important part of this step. Boom. Boom. Item user. Um, meat syringe. We need another one of these. Right? And so here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we set up a meat... Uh, uh, an, an automated user. Okay, so places like that. Oh my god. I hate everything. What? Oh my god, I thought that was dirt. <laughs> okay, we place this here. I think if I shift click... Nope, it doesn't work. Okay. I place it here, right? This guy, he requires power as well. Of course he does. Why wouldn't he? Um, I should be able to just steal the power from here. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so he's powered. Tick delay requires redstone and the actual item. So I want to put this item here. And I want it to right-click. Always on. So I right-clicked. <laughs> um, right? How do I know if it's working? <laughs> I don't really... I don't think it's working. I'm going to be real. Show display. Oh, that tells you how much is on it. Okay. Um, let's pick this guy up. And what if I place him at the front? Right? Maybe the front's a bit different. Maybe. Because there's nothing in this guy at the moment. He's not working where he currently is. Let's see. What are we going to get? It's got power. I'm expecting some of these 29 buckets to go down. But this guy isn't even triggering. Now he's triggering. But he's not doing anything. So I don't think it's working. <laughs> really? Always on. Tick delay. Huh. Okay. But if I right-click this, it fills up. Okay. What about now, though? Maybe it'll work now? Hmm? Well, I feel like it's not even... It's not just... It's just not doing anything. Yeah. I don't think the item user's working. How's this working, though? 30, 29. I don't know. That, 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 that was really my only attempt was to try and do that, but that didn't seem to work. Um, as for the actual stuff up here... At least the tanks are empty, but I'm a little bit confused. Oh, you know what? The the pipes have probably stopped, right? Because um, we've probably ran out of uh, this stuff. Yeah. So we need a stack of redstone and bones. A stack of bones. Bones in here. Redstone in here. We should probably automate this at some point. We do have cables actually right here. This, you know what? Let's do it right now. I mean, why not? Um, in fact, I could probably just do cable here and then the exporter's there. Yeah, okay. Let's do exporter. Get two of these. I know we have an advanced on us, but I'm not going to use that. We'll just use the uh, the normal ones. Um, so you're going to go here. You're going to go here. Um, this guy is the guy that takes the bone. So here we go. Grab that. That was an interesting sentence I just said, but we'll, we'll pretend that it didn't happen. 
Um, so he should now stay full 24-7. Wonderful. And, and he just uses power and water. So that's taken care of. This guy needs redstone, which can eventually be an issue. But once he's full, he stops, right? So I guess in the long run. In fact, you know what? It, will this tell me what mob drops redstone? Or do no mobs drop redstone? I, I assume maybe no mobs drop redstone. Um, because we could have farmed a mob that drops redstone. You know what I mean? Um, but I'm guessing that it doesn't happen. I'm just trying to look through everything and see if there's like a something like maybe a block. You know what I mean? Like ah, the redstone heart of the of the lion from the deep. <laughs> um, yeah, we could do glowstone. I think you get those from um, what you call them? Witches. Right? You get glowstone from witches. Which, I can't see in this list up here. I can't see, like, the item drops from mobs. So, it's possible that there's a mob that drops um, redstone. And it's just not telling me. Um, okay, so th this should be working again, right? Let's double check. Full of fluid. Doing stuff. Doing things. Yeah, okay. Um, so, in this guy, we'll probably add, like, a spider thing to take care of our string problem. Um, just thought I'd throw that out there. Um, is that everything? Am I happy? Can we Can we wrap this up? I think so. I, I love this mod. I love the 3D textures. I'm hoping they do more of them. I, I find it really strange that something like a chemical washer, they put this much intricate detail in. Like, look at how much they put in. All these little moves, all these little things. that They put all this detail into here, but then, like, something that you use 24-7, like the um, smeltery or the um, enrichment chamber or even the crusher, they're very much not really animated. Like, the crushes, this thing sort of crushes, but even that, it's not 3D. So it's very strange. Like, some things, like, these things that I've never even used before have these insane 3D models to them. Look, like, even these, this stuff over here, they're, they're so intricate. And then just, like, this stuff, flat. I don't know. Yeah, I find it a bit weird. I'm, I'm hoping, I hope that eventually they make these look 3D somehow. And, and look pretty cool. Because it, it is my favorite part. It is my favorite part of the mod. Um, like, look at this stuff. I, I think this thing's glowing because of my shaders. So, so it probably doesn't look, you know, as pale as it currently does normally. Um, I'm also hoping that... I was hoping to see this guy in action. Because I imagine it looks cool inside there, but... Um, hmm. Yeah, we're just waiting on sulfur, I think. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. We'll, we'll figure that out in another episode. We'll, we'll probably automate um, speed upgrades and stuff like that. Chuck speed upgrades and all these things. But I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy. This looks pretty pretty monstrous. Um, and I like that it is no longer behind here. We still do have some stuff. Like, this uh, smeltery will probably... Uh, we might pick up a move. Is it auto-crafting? No. We can pick this guy up and get rid of him. Um, do I want to do that right now? Yes. <laughs> I was trying to figure out if I did or didn't. Let's pick this guy up. Perfect. Um, let's replace the cables to make sure that everything's still connected. Perfect. It's like I didn't even touch it. Um, the enrichment factory, th this guy here, he will stay because he's being used at the moment for some stuff. Um, but in the future, I would like to move these things over here. Um, yeah, somehow. Or, or like, you know, somewhere else. Somewhere from behind my little shack here. Just to clean it up a bit. Uh, but we're getting there. We're getting there slowly, but surely. In fact... Maybe, maybe we can place this stuff to slowly ease out of it, you know? If, if there's not a hole in the ground, I won't be inclined to put something in there. <laughs> right? <laughs> the glass as well. We should definitely have a better glass system, probably. Um, but I'm happy. I'm happy. I, I feel like this is good. We, we've made some pretty good progress. Pretty good uh, stepping stones. So this here, this basic setup, five, uh, five times, yeah, five times the ore. So one platinum ore will give you five platinum ingots um <laughs> there, there are definitely some bottlenecks to this system but i mean if you if you were like following along i'm sh i'm sure you know how to speed this up all right just chuck in some augments maybe even figure out a different way we might have to figure out a different way to get this um sulfuric acid which i thought i bookmarked um sulfuric acid this guy um we could probably use some water vapor and some um, sulfur trioxide and figure out a better way to do it. I, I, I'm sure that's possible. I'm sure we can figure that out. Um, which we might do if if we run out of sulfur because I don't really know where we get the sulfur from. I assume we're finding the ores. So I don't know. I'm not too sure. But yeah. 
Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, please do consider subscribing. It helps out my channel quite a lot. I love Mechanism. Thought I'd uh, dedicate a, a nice little episode to checking out some of the features that I've never messed with before because they were a little bit, a little bit scary. And I mean, it, it, this still looks pretty scary. Like I'm still confused about what half this stuff does, but um, essentially it's just ore processing, right? Um, hopefully we can get into some other stuff in the future. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed the video, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.